If you're somebody who loves snacks, check out this video because I'm gonna share all my favorite gut healthy snack foods that you can find on Amazon. What's up and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, creator of SIBO Shortcut, and also the supplement Blow Blocker. If you're looking for some gut healthy snacks that you can eat while you're traveling, at work, or just hanging out at home, this video is gonna share all my personal favorites that you can find easily right on Amazon. To be honest, I'm not really a huge snack person I don't typically eat them. However, I will be traveling for over the next month to Nashville, Florida, and Cabo. And as you know, when you're traveling, a lot of the time your routine kind of gets broken up. And since the options for snacks and food aren't always the best when you're in the airports, the foods I'm going to talk about in this video are definitely ones going in my carry-on. Quick note as well, all of the snacks and foods I'm going to talk about in this video are going to be down in the Amazon link in the description below, so you can easily find them and shop if you'd like to. The snacks I'm going to talk about in this video, they're all gonna meet the following criteria. One, it's stuff that I either like or would eat. Two, quality ingredients and lack of crappy ingredients. Three, non-perishable, they don't need to be refrigerated. Four, they're easy enough to throw in your work bag or suitcase. And now I'm gonna introduce to you the four pillars of snack foods, which were created by me as somebody who likes going to the gym, but also isn't really a fan of sugary candies. So these four pillars are number one, crunchy snacks. Number two, jerky. Number three, protein bars and number four chocolate and desserts so whatever taste and textures your flavor centers in your brain really like i got you covered i promise this is the last note before i start i'm not affiliated with any of these companies whatsoever however i would like to be so if you work for one of these companies send me a message first pillar crunchy snacks a couple ingredients i will not be looking for in these snacks are gluten and then seed oils such as soybean sunflower or vegetable oil first brand i'll highlight is these siete chips i will say this i did notice today I'm filming this video. It's Wednesday, October 2nd. On Tuesday, PepsiCo did announce that they are buying Siete Foods. You may be wondering, why does this matter whatsoever? I just don't have a good feeling about a large food company like PepsiCo buying a company like this and not changing the product significantly. So we'll see what happens with that. So these sea salt chips, as you can see in the ingredients here, they're made from potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. For a potato chip, that's all you need. And then the avocado oil instead of like a vegetable oil is is a nice key and this is the reason why I would prefer these. The second option here is these Jackson's avocado oil sweet potato chips and if you look at the ingredients on these again same kind of deal except sweet potato instead of regular potato. Third one up are these Simple Mills seed and nut flour sweet thins lemon flavored. If you look at the ingredients there's quite a few more seasonings and ingredients in it. There's nothing crazy on here though ingredient wise which is why I'm still comfortable eating these. I don't love all of Simple Mills foods because as you can see in this product there's organic coconut oil a lot of the other products that they have they use sunflower oil which is a more inflammatory type oil so i wouldn't give a blanket statement like i like all of their products across the board fourth up is these boulder candon coconut oil classic sea salt chips so these are like the other ones i included this one because it uses coconut oil instead of avocado oil and then lastly we have these hue 100 sure i'm pronouncing that correctly hu but we got these grain free crackers sea salt these are more of like an herb type cracker, which if you want something a little more flavorful than just salt, this may be something you can go to. Ingredient list quite a bit longer than the other potato chips, but if you go through it, everything is a quality looking ingredient and there's nothing in here that I would not eat. All right, let's move on now to the jerky section, my personal favorite. To find a good jerky, things I look for are number one, I want it to be gluten free. You may be asking yourself, it's meat, why the hell would it have gluten in it? A lot of jerkies have soy sauce, which contains gluten, so that's the reason. Also looking for minimal or no added sugar. And finally, no weird flavorings or colorings. Some of the brands now we have here are Chomps. So this original beef product is one I really like. It's just beef, salt, and then some other seasonings in there. Nothing else weird. Mission Meats makes these sticks, which I also find to be really high quality ingredients. I haven't personally had these before, but looking at all the products and ingredients, it all looks solid. Looks like they have uh, pork sticks, beef sticks, jalapeno pepper beef sticks, and then uh, turkey sticks as well. I would happily have any of these while traveling. Then I found this Clean Jerky Co. Brisket Beef Jerky. I have not personally had this, but it does look really good. 
just beef, pepper, and salt. The price point on these, I'll admit, is much higher than the other ones. So I'm a little hesitant on buying these because it looks like a one ounce bag cost about $15. So more than I want to spend. Uh, fourth jerky is this Brooklyn Biltong. I've had this quite a bit, really like it. There's a bunch of different flavors here. I think the naked one's really good because I'm more of like a simple beef jerky kind of person. I just like a normal salt, but there's also lemon pepper, peri peri chili. I don't really do super well with spicy food. I wish I did because I like the taste. It just feels weird in my stomach after I eat it. Try to avoid it. Then they have a steakhouse and then an original as well. And then lastly, this one's a little bit of a wild card. My friend Ryan, who I work out with, introduced me to these. Sounds really weird, but these epic maple glazed and smoked salmon bites are actually really good. Obviously, if you don't like fish, you're going to absolutely hate this. But you're somebody that likes fish. They do have a pretty strong fishy smell, but they're absolutely delicious. There is a little bit of added sugar, but in order to diversify the jerky section a little bit for you, I did want to include this one as well because I've had it quite a few times and really like it. All right, moving right along. Now into pillar number three, which is protein bars. I'll be totally honest with you. This category of foods on Amazon and everywhere in terms of ingredients, this is rough. There's very few options that I really like on here. I, going into this video, I tried to find about five options for each of these that I thought were really good options. And I could honestly, for this section, I could only find three. I'm sure if I look a lot more, I could come up with two other ones, but not totally sure. Things I'm looking for in a protein bar are number one, no seed oil, such as vegetable oil, soybean oil, or sunflower oil. No natural flavors, and then no gums or thickeners. So first up on the list here, we have these feel bars. Looks like there's a few different flavors. There's sun butter, chocolate chip, brownie chocolate chip, and then mint chocolate chip. If you are a chocolate chip enthusiast, you will be very pleased. It looks like pea protein isolate is the protein in here. So they're vegetarian, vegan protein bars. I'm pretty sure the main ingredient in each of them looks like it's dates. And then there's a bunch of different flavors and seasonings, all natural stuff. They look good. Would definitely eat these. Second up on the list are rise bars. These, when I used to work back in the pharmacy, I used to eat these pretty frequently around 2018 to 2020. This is an almond honey bar. There's only three ingredients in it. There's almonds, honey, and whey protein isolate. So very simple, nothing else added. There are other products that you find online. You can also trust that the ingredients are well. All right, now on to the final section, which is the chocolates and dessert section. So one key ingredient that I'd like to not have included in a chocolate or desserts are artificial sweeteners, such as sorbitol or erythritol. And this is just to help with digestion and not getting an upset stomach after eating it. First up here is a company that I really like. They're actually located headquartered out of Austin, Texas here where I live, which is these Good Word protein cookies. I've had many of these. They're delicious. And I'm pretty sure they're also in Whole Foods and Sprouts markets. This is the chocolate chip cookie right here. They have a lot of different flavors. You can trust that all of them are quality ingredients. Next up here, we have Honey Mamas, another company I really like. This is more of a traditional chocolate bar if that's something that is more appealing to you. Again, all really high quality ingredients. They're made with some coconut oil as well. So word to the wise, if you're going to have these, it's best to pop them in the refrigerator for probably a half hour to an hour to let them chill before eating them. Otherwise, if they're at room temperature, they're a little bit more gooey. So just my personal preference. And back to the Hue brand as well. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. So we have this cashew butter chocolate bar here as well. These have a cocoa butter base, so a little bit different flavor profile than the Honey Mamas. A good option for you. Feel free to trust their other products. So those are all my favorite Amazon fine snacks. If you're a big snack person and you want to make sure you're taking care of your digestion and gut health, give these options a try. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. I post a new full-length video every Monday in YouTube shorts throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.